What's up, guys, and welcome back to EBFG TV, a very exciting episode of our match preview, previewing this week's massive game between the Seattle Sounders and Sporting Kansas City at Central League Field in Seattle. Brian, the playoffs are here. The Sounders are in. What do you expect this Thursday? I'm still just excited to be hearing the sentence, the playoffs are here. Um, well, hearing it in a way that implies that we're in it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> never thought we'd be here, first of all. Um, mm -hmm. Feels incredible. So regardless of what happens, well, that's not true. <laughs> not regardless of what happens. But um, no, I'm expecting an intense game. You know, they beat us twice this season. We're obviously going to be out for revenge. Um, the last time we played him, I think, was that kind of final straw game for Ziggy where uh, the team kind of just up and quit on him. I know he, he kind of viewed some things differently there, and that's a whole another story. But, uh, no, they're definitely going to be wanting some redemption. And obviously, you know, it's an important playoff game. They're going to be wanting to fight for that too. But um, I'm expecting big things from us on Thursday. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we put up three, four, or five goals, something like that. So, um I don't know. I think it's not going to be quite as defensive as the RSL game. I think both teams are going to come out from the, the first whistle just going for it, and it's going to make for some pretty entertaining soccer. Well, you know, in these one-game playoffs, these like play-in rounds that we have here in, the ML uh, here in MLS, um, it's kind of hard to be super defensive because, you know, it's just you only have one game. and If, if you come out too defensive and, and things don't go your way, then, then you're out of the playoffs all of a sudden. And uh, mm -hmm. so I, I really hope that the team kind of uh, knows that and they come out just flying and they come out um, not all out attack in the start of the game, but just, just yeah, attack yeah. behind it at least and, and really, really going for goal. Um, I would love to see us put up like three or four goals because I really think we can. Um, Hercules Gomez today had a great quote basically saying that the whole team has this belief in themselves that you really need this this uh, time of the season which is great to hear especially because at one point it looked like the team was not motivated it looked like they were disinterested and now all of a sudden they're in the MLS Cup playoffs and and they have a belief that they can win win the whole win the whole thing win the MLS Cup so that's very encouraging for me um, I'm excited for Thursday the atmosphere on Sunday was insane in my opinion um, yeah. I mean everyone Everyone knew it was a huge game, which is which was really cool. Um, some of the like call and repeat chants were just goosebump inducing. I mean, the, the whole stadium really seemed into it. Uh, I really hope it's the same on Thursday, even though I'm sure it won't be a full stadium game, you know. Um, so we'll have a limited capacity, but but still, it should be super exciting. I'm buzzing to be there on Thursday. Um, it's it's going to be a crazy match. Yeah, I am too, and that was something I actually wanted to comment on that I kind of spaced on until you mentioned it. Um, Usually when we do the, uh, you know, the boom, boom, clap, and everyone, whole stadium gets into it, and mm -hmm. then it goes into the Sounders part, mm -hmm. and it's just the ECS doing it, it was the whole stadium on Sunday, and I, yeah, I got goosebumps. It was pretty incredible. And when we did that second boom, boom, clap, around like the 83rd, 84th yeah, minute. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, it was just, it was intense. Like, it was... It was everyone was on the same page. Like when when we were like waiting for the you know the drums to boom boom again, um, it was like silent. I mean, it was like almost eerie. Just how it was just awesome. It was a it was a crazy awesome match. Thursday is going to be much of the same. A huge playoff atmosphere. Yeah. I'm super excited. Um, but one thing we do have to talk about is the regular season just a little bit. Who is your regular season MVP? Um, well, we kind of talked about this before the video, so I think we're gonna have the same answer. But it's uh, it's Osvaldo Alonso. Uh, with Christian Roldan in a, a close second. The, the two of them in that holding midfield role have just been phenomenal. Uh, even when we didn't look so great, you know, mm -hmm. you look at the field and you're saying, oh man, so-and-so didn't really put in the effort today. So-and-so, you know, looks kind of off, blah, blah, blah. Um, Ozzy and Christian were never in that list. They don't, there is no give up for them. They, it just doesn't exist. And uh, I think if we can keep them healthy and not suspended, uh, we could definitely go a long way in the playoffs as well. Yeah, for sure. Ozzy is, is by far my number one choice for MVP with uh, Roldan and even Jordan Morris, honorable mention, because um, Jordan Morris scored some goals at some points when we were just god-awful that saved did, us yeah. uh, from from doom almost and was really a bright spark during the, the horribly dark months of like June and July um, during the summer. But yeah, Ozzy has just been fantastic. It's it's He's having stats that are insane for like his age and, and for, for how he's playing and for how we've been playing. I mean, he's like leading the league and like passes completed and tackles one, like all this stuff that honestly, I think he should be considered for league MVP, even though I know it's hard for 
um, like that type of player to win it. Yeah. He, he's a defensive midfielder, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, he's been just fantastic and has been a solid rock for the team. Um, other than the, the two suspensions I think he had this year, which suck, you know, you can't really. They do, uh, but I mean, it's Aussie and you, you almost kind of expect at least one of those at this point. It is. <laughs> And if and you know if he's going to put out these awesome, I mean career best stats, I think, yeah. and get suspended for two games, that's not too bad. As long as he stays unsuspended for the playoffs, yeah. um, which is obviously my hope. Uh, now we got to talk about predictions. That's it's a big game. What do you think? It is a big game, and uh, I think we're going to show up big. I'm going to say four to one, Sounders. Four to one, nice. Yeah. Okay, four to one. Ah. Uh, I'm going to go a little more modest. I'll say three one. I mean, I guess one less goal isn't that much more modest, yeah. but. Uh, but I'm going to say 3-1. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like 2-1 for a lot of the game. Um, and in that second half, we play like more defensive. Kansas City is attacking. And then we kind of like steal a goal in the counterattack late in the game to really seal it and uh, and give us the big uh, victory. I almost said the big three points, but there are no points yeah, in the there playoffs. Are no points, no. Um, yeah, so hopefully we see you guys after a huge win on Thursday night and then again on Saturday for another match preview. Uh, pretty quick turnaround here in these MLS Cup playoffs. Thank you for watching EBFG TV. As always, like, subscribe, share. See you guys later.